You know what she's gonna say. Okay. What am I gonna say? Wonder Woman. <laughs> I want to be Wonder Woman. <laughs> okay. What superhero would you be if you could be a superhero? Okay. I would be. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a different superhero. I'd be Wonder Woman. <laughs> I've made some really good friends on this movie, and I hope we still like keep in touch when it's over. It's just like this little adventure that we've just all been on together, and now. I don't think we'll ever forget. Now it's over. <laughs> Basically what I've done for the last few weeks is laugh. <laughs> as a crew, it's all really nice, like big family, but especially sort of seven or eight main girls, we just get on really well. It's amazing. Every day is just so much fun. 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 <laughs> My mate goes to me, are you a lead part? And I said, yeah, I'm, I'm the lead male. And he goes, ah, great, great, great. I said, I'm also the only male on this film. I've been pestering everybody in Hollywood to give me a film to direct. And I'd taken several scripts to work in title and they didn't like any of them. And then they came to me with this one and I said, I love it. For me, it's the comedy and the emotion. And those two things, they help each other. If you're crying a little and then a joke comes along and the joke's all the better. Or if you're laughing and then there's an emotional bit, it feels kind of sweeter. You are going to boarding school in England. Today, we're in the outback of boarding school here in London. Wow. 37 Baker, take two. I didn't have any experience of writing before, so they, everyone's been really good and helpful to me. I wrote it completely alone, and then I rewrote it a few times with working titles, notes, and then towards the end, Nick and I collaborated, and we worked closely together for, for a while. We had a good time. Saddle up, girls. We've got ourselves a bronco. It was a lovely, lovely story, but it, was, it spoke to me I have three daughters, and I'm also obviously American, and live in London. So an American story of a transplanted person in London was, you know, topically perfect for me. But this movie wasn't ever going to be made unless the perfect poppy was found. And so that was a process that took mm, three years, I think. You saw lots and lots of people, so probably everybody that was between the ages of 16 and 21 in Hollywood. Dangerous out there. And then Emma Roberts appeared in the world. That is physical abuse! I'm calling my lawyer! With what? And she was fantastic. Ever since I read the script, I just, I've loved the character, I loved the whole story, and I, I mean, I've never played a character like her before, so it's really cool to get to, you know, play someone different than all the other parts I've ever played. Can I help you? Emma just stood out as a movie star. She was obviously a movie star. She was incredibly natural. She's a real pro. And we resuscitated the script and started doing some more work on it with with Daisy Donovan. I got brought in to sort of rethink the script and the characters and give the girls phrases so that they talk that way that teen girls do, which is kind of like gunshots. <laughs> so I had to try and think of that. So I spent a lot of time in a library writing it whilst trying to listen to the teenagers who were revising for their A-levels, going, good phrase, good phrase, write that down. Today we're shooting the outside of the boarding school which is when my dad drops me off and I'm really upset about it. And right now, that's all. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Emma is Poppy, which is brilliant. And sometimes she says things and I have to write them down straight away and then they go into the script because like, I heard her on the phone to a friend in LA and she was going, where are you? I called you like a bajillion times. And I me too. It was like, bajillion? Gotta get that in. I actually did the whole like, mm, who is this? You know, Emma Roberts looked her up and the pictures kind of, you know, had that American sweetheart kind of, I thought she was gonna be, oh my God. But she's so funny and down to earth. Whoa there, cowboy. I've never really worked with anyone like her before. I've done a lot of theater um, with British people and there's such a difference between British and American people, even though the language is the same. and. She's, she's really great and she's so much fun and she doesn't take herself seriously and she's really nice. She's just giggly and like, you know, she's lovely, she's gorgeous. <laughs> so bloody English. Today, we are back at the boarding school for like the fourth week and we're shooting stuff in the dining hall when we're supposed to be eating. I can't eat this. <laughs> it's really fun, it's a lot of work though. Just cause, you know, one scene that's maybe two minutes in the movie will take like a day of work, which is like 10 hours. So really one day of work is about three times the length of the whole entire movie. And we only get one scene done, so it's a lot more work than people think. This is a day in the life of the green room. The important thing for us was to make sure that there was a group that you believed was a group. And we had a whole bunch of girls and we tried different combinations. 
of, of girls, not only the ones that we ended up with, but some others who didn't make it. Not because they weren't any good, but we just felt that this was the best combination. We get each other's humour, really. We, like, one of us cracks a stupid joke that other people are like, whoa, what are you on about? And the other's like, yeah, I get it, I get it. It's really funny. We've all got on really well, which makes everything so easy because you've just created the relationships already. They're just the most ridiculous people I've ever met in my life. They're just, they're so stupid. <laughs> but they're awesome. Have you ever been turned on by my presence? Never. On the first day I walked in, Nick comes up to me and says, Emma's a bit nervous. What do you mean, Emma's nervous? What, what about the scene? He goes, no, 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 we're doing the kissing scene. I said, hang on a sec, what? On the first day. So we got shot in this room and we were like little kids, like little 10 year olds. It was quite embarrassing. And he's been really fun to work with. I mean, he's, he's a really cool guy and we get along really well. Obviously the connection here. He's a sweetheart, he's really nice. He's like one of the girls, don't tell him I said that. I'm not saying he's a girl, <laughs> I'm just saying, it, you know, he may as well be because we got on with him just as though we were. We have this secret on screen chemistry. I've never had a sister, I've never had female company for so long. And I tell you what, girls aren't what you seem. I tell you that now. Girls are not what you seem. And action! Today, um, we're in this shop here, which is the charity shop, which is actually a vintage shop with amazing things. Um, basically, we're choosing outfits today, so rummaging along the rails, trying to find good outfits. What about this for Ascot? Magnificent. <laughs> so the next time you see us, we will be Wearing something that we'll be wearing to the social. Looking hot to trot. Mighty fine. Isn't it gorgeous? I, it. I mean, we'd obviously give you a discount. <laughs> we basically just had this massive store of, of clothes and accessories and shoes. And it was just, right, what would your character wear? And if your character was feeling a bit daring, what would she wear? So I got this little sort of uh, electric pink number and some fishnets. Most of the time, unfortunately, they're in a school uniform, but... They were really sweet about everything and seemed to like whatever was put on the table. Julia, the costumer, she's great and I mean everything she picks I, I love. We tried on loads of different options and we, you know, we kind of had a say in which ones we preferred. I just threw mine in there anyway, I was like, I like that one. Whether or not they took, well they did because this is the one that I liked. I think it slightly resembles a marshmallow. <laughs> the hair and the makeup and the costume department and the continuity, they're all ladies and they're all keeping an eye on things for me. And there's stuff that I missed, I'm a bloke and I don't even think about it. <laughs> Very nice. Makeup girls are especially nice and let you make kind of contributions as to what you want your hair to look like. We need input from them, obviously, just to kind of feel that we know what teenagers are wanting to look like. Um, obviously, throughout most of the film, we want them looking like fresh country girls, you know, f you know, not too much makeup. And um, we've had a couple of scenes where we've allowed them, you know, we have party scenes, so they're out they go and get the makeup on, which has been fun. So it's quite nice, but most of the time, we've just been working on trying to make them look fresh, and, you know, they are living a good country life. You can do it! Got it? This is the third day of the lacrosse final. They're very stiff today. They were achy and stiff yesterday. The first day they were high as kites, and they were running around, we couldn't calm them down. Yesterday they were very good, and today they're very stiff, and uh, they're, they're hurting a bit, but they're trying really hard. And we've got the second half of the lacrosse game to do this afternoon. So lots of it. very good fun. It's going good. I mean, I like lacrosse. I've been practicing a lot and doing some dancing. We have to do this like um, at halftime during our lacrosse. We have to do this like crumping dance, which is pretty pretty funny. It's like half haka, half crumping, half dancing. All right, ladies. There's only one thing for it. Let's go. What are we? A leading single sex school admitting boarders at age 11. <laughs> Wrong. We're winners. That took so much practice. Really cool dance though. One, two, three. Ah! And as you're stepping, you're taking your hips and your rolling up. Ah! We're doing three different styles of haka dance, which is actually founded in New Zealand and a little bit of cheerleading and also a little bit of crumping. I have absolutely had so much fun doing that. It's really, really good fun. Whew, quite sweaty. I've never done professional dancing, but I'd really like to start taking dance classes after this because I've really enjoyed learning. It turned out like nice, like it looks good. I saw some of it, but it was not fun at all. I think it's an American thing. <laughs> I was really nervous, but I really enjoyed it because it broke down all our inhibitions and we got to see each other looking like idiots. And I think now we're just, we're really glad that we've done it, even if some of us moan. <laughs> I still hate dance. <laughs> For non-dancers, they've done amazingly to see them do so well in the short amount of time that they have. And they've all kind of really bonded, I think, a lot more. And you can see that through their movement and dancing as well. in 
beautiful Los Angeles in Malibu. It's a bit of a dream, really, um, coming out to do our last day of filming, which is really sad. The great thing about doing the English thing first was that the girls really got to group together nicely and they, uh, they filmed a real friendship. We've all become really good friends and it's it's really nice to like actually genuinely get along with your co-stars because everyone's like yeah we get along we get along but we actually like genuinely do and it's fun to have them in LA on my turf now. One, two, three! It was like this big but we were like oh we're jumping off a cliff! And that was our last scene and then we all got to jump in the pool. My favorite scene, hmm, probably the lacrosse was really fun. I think all of it every day it's been good for me. I haven't worked for you, so, you know, to come back into the flow of things, it's great. That's a really hard question on this job, <laughs> because every bit has had a brilliant moment kind of thing. But I think being in LA or coming out here together, it's like an adventure, and it's cool to have an adventure with friends! friends. <laughs> yeah, I think this is going to be a day to remember forever. Don't move, guys. That was just beautiful.